Hey guys, Coach Alex Gonzalez coming at you with a great Wellness Wednesday. Before we get into that, we're almost at the end of the month of September. If you haven't grabbed a shirt yet, go ahead and get one while you can. They're a limited run. I love the way that they fit around the arms. They taper really well around the waist. They're a limited run, so grab one while you can. I'm going to leave a link down in the comments below. Today I'm talking about one of the worst health and wellness issues that's plaguing most of us around the world. No, I'm not talking about COVID. Let's get right into it. Today we're talking about the cumulative injury cycle. Now the cumulative injury cycle is a cycle whereby certain tissue traumas end up leading to a muscular imbalance. Now, this is normally caused by something called pattern overload. Pattern overload is a consistent repetition of the same pattern emotions over long periods of time. Now this can lead to dysfunctions of certain muscle imbalances and even injury. This is going to be more prevalent in people who repeat the same motions over and over in their day-to-day -day lives. Baseball pitchers, long distance runners, and even specific occupations. Some of these occupations like hairdressers, assembly line workers, or even construction workers. Many of these people repeat the same motions every day and are much more susceptible to this pattern overload. This can also be seen in individuals who train throughout the same routine repeatedly. This is why we find it so important to change up our workouts each and every month going through the same routine and repetitively going through those same exercises and movements, we may experience some pattern overload and end up placing abnormal stress on the body. All this being said, one of the main culprits when it comes to the cumulative injury cycle is going to be poor posture. The cumulative injury cycle is not biased. If we have poor posture or we overuse movements, we can be susceptible to this cumulative injury cycle. Now the cycle usually starts with some sort of tissue trauma, which is going to be followed by inflammation, followed by some muscle spasms, then adhesion. Now when I say adhesion, I mean excess connective tissue, collagen matrices that are going to go and be built around the joints or problem areas. Now they're here originally to go and protect the areas. We do want some extra tissue in there for protection. Now that being said, it can alter some neuromuscular control and in turn cause a lot of muscle imbalance. Now this is a normal recovery response when it comes to soft tissue injury. We injure a tissue, causes inflammation, we have a buildup of this soft tissue and it alters our range of motion. So how are we going to combat that? This tissue is normally made up of collagen, tissue that forms in a complex meshwork in a random fashion, and usually does not run in the same direction as our muscle fibers. These tissues act as roadblocks preventing soft tissue mobility. Now we can combat this through self myofascial release or just normal static stretching. This all being said, awareness is the largest component. Be aware of your posture when you're seated or when you're standing. If you're seated, try to get up and walk around every 30 minutes or so. This is going to allow some extra blood flow and give us a good active stretch. If we're standing, make sure to check your posture. Hold those shoulders down and back, and also don't ever lock out the knees. My favorite way of combating all of this, as I mentioned before, is going to be self-myofascial release. Now when I say myofascial release, that's going to mean anything involving a lacrosse ball, a foam roller, a hand roller. Now what we're doing here is we're going to break up that extra collagen network, so that extra tissue that it's inhibiting our range of motion. What this is going to do is break up that tissue and restart the healing process in those muscles. Except this time, we are not going to have that extra collagen messing around in our joints. This will promote blood flow to the area, heal it correctly, and make sure that we have the most optimal range of motion that we can have. The three best tips that I can give you is hydrate well, Make sure we stay up on top of our myofascial release and static stretch at least twice a day. Anyway, y'all, that's all I got for you today. This is more of a conversational piece. Let me know if we have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future content that you want to see. Like I said, if you want to snag one of these shirts, they're a limited run. Grab one while you can. I'm going to leave a link down in the comments below. This is always a conversation. Leave a like, leave a comment about something that you may have learned today. But other than that, be good, drink some water, and I'll see y'all in the next one.